A lot of people are prioritizing their external reality and they're reacting to their lives. They're reacting to the fact that they don't have money in their bank account or the fact that they're in a certain family or they have a certain external situation in their life. Now, what happens is that when you start to prioritize your external reality versus your internal reality, you start to be in this place where you're reacting to life. Now, when you're reacting to life, things always go very, very wrong because to be in reaction to life actually stops you from being able to manifest what you want in a much easier way. Because what I notice is that when I'm prioritizing my external reality, things actually start to go in a direction where I don't actually want them to go in that way. So it's super critical that you learn how to stop reacting to life and you actually learn how to respond to life. Now, what I just shared with you is gonna be very, very critical to be able to manifest what it is that you want because a lot of people are prioritizing their external reality. They're in reaction to the fact that they don't have enough money in their bank account or they don't have that dream job that they don't, that they don't have yet or they are victims to the fact that they're in a certain family. Now, when you play that victim role, when you choose to play that victim role and you're reacting to your reality, that actually keeps you stuck in that current reality. Now, what I just shared with you is very, very critical because we're conditioned in a society to believe that, you know, that the external reality actually starts to impact the internal world. But what you have to realize is that it's actually the complete opposite. Now, most people are just simply not conscious of this. It's actually the internal world is supposed to reflect into the external world, into the external. When you manage your inner world, then the external world actually starts to follow that. So I'm gonna share with you in this video how to stop reacting to your life so you can actually manifest what it is that you want in a much faster way. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I do actually post a new video every single day. Also, if you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one to let go of your ego, let go of the anxieties, let go of the fears, so you can actually live into your highest vision hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation to see if you're a good fit for the coaching program. So what you have to realize is that when you're living in reactivity to your life, things are always gonna go wrong. I always notice this in my experience. When I start to prioritize, you know, how well a video is gonna do or how good a coaching call is gonna go, or how something is gonna manifest in my life versus just prioritizing what I can actually control, which is my internal world, things always go wrong because you have to just manage what you can manage. There are certain things that we can control in life and there are certain things that we cannot control in life. Now, people are stuck in this illusion that they can control their external reality. Now, yes, you can manifest your dream life. You can control your external reality to a certain degree, but only when you start to manage the internal reality that you're actually living in. So what you have to realize is that the inner world actually creates the outer world. It's not the other way around. People are conditioned to believe that the outer world starts to impact the inner world. And that's just the way that we've been conditioned, right? Because you think that when you have that that situation where you know you don't have that money in your bank account that elicits an emotional response but you actually have more control over your emotions when it comes to life situations than you actually think and most people don't realize that most people are thinking like francis you know how can you say that i have emotional control if something really really bad happens in my life now i'm not going to give you any examples i'm sure you know uh, what I'm pointing to, like maybe something goes wrong in your health, maybe something goes wrong in your finances. You're thinking, Francis, how can you actually say that I have a choice in that moment to respond in the way that I want? Well, you have to realize that that situation 
is happening in your life. Now, at that point where you have that autopilot response, you actually have the choice to not react unconsciously. Okay, you have the choice to start to respond in a way that you want, but only first by noticing the initial response that usually happens unconsciously. So this requires a level of consciousness. This requires a level of awareness to really understand that when you start having things happen in your life, you need to be very, very conscious of how you're actually reacting to things unconsciously. Because once again, we're conditioned to believe that the outer world impacts the inner world. But when you get to a certain level of awareness in your awakening, so to speak, or whatever word you want to use, you start to realize that you can actually observe your reality and stay very grounded in the present moment to the point where you're kind of allowing this flow state to take over and you actually have more control over your reality than you think, but not by manipulating the external world, but by controlling your energy internally. Now, <laughs> this is very, very critical because when you start to manage your internal energy versus controlling things you can't control, your life becomes so much easier because like, look, like I'm going to try to explain it like this. I can't control how many subscribers I get on a daily basis or a monthly basis. I can't control how many clients I get or how well my business goes or how much money I even make. You know, there's certain things I can control and there's certain things that I can't control. And you're thinking, Francis, that doesn't sound uh, very empowering. You can't just say that you have no control. But here's the thing. What I can control is my internal world and the way that I choose to prioritize this. The way that I choose to prioritize that internal world and how I actually prioritize it. So here's some examples. I can't control how fast I become awakened and my spiritual enlightenment. But what I can control is me meditating every single day, no matter what, and staying as aware as I possibly can in each given moment. I can't control how fast my YouTube channel grows, but what I can control is how I record a video daily and the level of presence that I bring to each video that I record. Right? I can't really control, you know, how amazing this video is going to be. But the one thing that I can 100% control is my level of presence and the internal energy in my internal world while I'm actually recording this content or how present I am when I'm in a coaching call. That's the one thing that I can control. And here's the beautiful thing. When you start to manage this, what I'm sharing with you now, this internal energy, then you start to actually control the external reality in a much faster way than you even thought was possible. Because only when you put too much focus on the external, then you create resistance and it's harder to manifest that thing. But when you manage your internal energy, the feelings that you have, which is pretty much the only thing you can control by counterintuitively letting go of controlling that, that's a whole nother video, you gotta realize that all you can control at the end of the day is your internal world. Now, to what degree is, you know, that's debatable because all we can control is our level of presence, right? How present we are to this moment. How conscious are you of the emotions that you're feeling? How conscious are you with this moment? Are you creating internal resistance? Now, you can control that. You can control how surrendered you are to the present moment. But what you can control is what happens in this moment. What form this moment takes is not always in your control, okay? Life is always changing. Reality is going to show you certain obstacles in life. You're going to be faced with certain challenges, but you know, that's normal. That's a normal part of life. Adversity and uncomfort is normal. Things are going to pop up, but what you can control is the internal energy. Now, I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, but this is the number one thing that people miss when it comes to the manifestation process and creating what it is that they want in their life. Because you need to manage your internal energy, especially if you consider yourself to be uh, an empath or a conscious being, whatever word you want to attach to, you know, empath or conscious being or somebody that's sensitive. 
you got to realize that you need to control and manage your energy. Okay, that's what you can control. First, personally for me, I have to be very conscious of how I manage my energy, how much meditation I do per day, how much boundaries I create in my life with certain people, with certain things, with certain situations. See, I can control that. What I can't control is everything on the external. I can control my boundaries. I can control my internal energy. I can control you know, my emotions to some degree, but sometimes I can't control a reaction. So what do I do there? I observe that reaction and I just simply let it go. I can control that. I can control my internal energy. Now, what is this all pointing to? All this is pointing to the awareness of the present moment. So this is going to speed up your manifestations like crazy because when you align yourself internally with the present moment and you start focusing on what you can control versus, you know, ultimately things that are not in your control, you start to empower yourself. Personal power is not about controlling other people or controlling things outside of you. It's about taking control of your internal reality. That is what people don't understand. People think that being powerful and being in your power is about controlling the external world, starting to manifest more money or to manifest more relationships. That is not how it works. If you really want to gain true power in your life, in your finances, in your relationships, accept that you have no control over these things. Accept that you have to control the things that you can control and then you start to see a reflection of that in your reality. So once again, when I prioritize my external world, which is ultimately something I can't control, I always notice things go wrong. I create more heaviness in my experience. I start to become more reactive. I start reacting to the fact that certain situations pop up into my life or the fact that, you know, I used to not have enough money. The only way I was able to manifest more money in my life is when I stopped reacting to the fact that I had no money. Okay, that's super critical. If you're in reaction to the fact that you have no money, you're only going to manifest more of a reality where you don't have that money because you're you're keep you're, you're keeping that reality alive. You're reaffirming to the reality that you're in that that's the reality that you're in. Right? You're you keep telling the universe, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. This isn't good. Why is this family member in my house? Why is this happening? Why is this situation happening to me? That's only going to keep that reality alive. What you need to realize is that you need to release internal resistance and stop reacting to your life. How do you do this? You prioritize what you can control, which is your level of presence and what you bring to that situation, the response that you have. Because only when you have awareness, then you can choose to respond in a way that you desire. When you're controlled by the ego and the autopilot mind, and you're controlled by all those subconscious behaviors that you've adopted since childhood from your family, and that situation and this situation, you know, you're not going to be able to empower yourself unless you first have that awareness. You see, awareness is critical to this entire process. Most people uh, in the law of attraction community are trying to manifest by focusing on the external world. But you have to see that manifestation is about mastering the internal world, which is what I always teach with every single client that I work with. And pretty much every single video that I point you to, sorry, every single video that I record is pointing you to that same place, which is your awareness and your consciousness, which is the most, like, that's 90% of your journey. There's so many different things that we can talk about on this channel that I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to have infinite amount of content to talk about, but it's all pointing to the awareness. So remember that. You can't always control the external world. You can't control how people act. You can't control how people, you know, if somebody gives you money or not. You can't always control, you know, what happens in your life. You can't control. Like if you're really on, like I know that I know that some of you don't want to hear this. The ego doesn't want to hear that. The ego wants to control everything. 
You know, the ego wants to manage everything and control the external world. The ego thinks that's what power is. You have to understand that the ego has this illusion that it's controlling the external world. You're not controlling the external world. If you think you're controlling the external world, you are in reaction to the external world. That is not how you step into your power as a human being. Now, I understand that the ego doesn't want to admit that. The ego doesn't want to admit that it doesn't have control over certain things. You have to see that you cannot always control people, how they act. But once again, the one thing that you can actually control in your reality is the internal alignment with the present moment that you have. And that's what you can actually control. You cannot control how much money. Like, like if, if, you, if I'm really honest with myself, I literally cannot control how many subscribers come into my channel. I literally cannot control how many clients I attract per month. I literally cannot control these things. But what I can control, once again, is my alignment with the present moment and focusing on the things that I can control. Recording a daily video, right? Reaching out to clients as much as possible and helping them with certain things. That is what I can control. And when you start to realize that, you know, you can only focus on certain things, you begin to feel so powerful because you realize that your ego doesn't have to figure it all out. My ego doesn't have to control that. That is the most empowering and freeing insight you can have as a human being is realizing that you just don't have to control certain things. Just leave it, leave it to the universe, leave it to the higher power, so to speak. Focus on what you can focus on. Focus on doing that daily meditation. Focus on doing this, focus on doing that. But realize at the end of the day, leave the rest to the universe. Take the right actions, stay aligned with who you are but leave the rest to the universe or, you know, the higher power or whatever word you want to use. You've got to realize that you can't control everything. You can't control everything. And once again, when you, when you fully integrate this, not just understand it logically, when you fully integrate this and accept it, even though there's heaviness around this, you know, maybe you were into the video just a little bit ago, but then now maybe you're feeling uh, heaviness around this topic. It's like, you know, that kind of sucks. It's like, can we really not control certain things? Don't take that as a negative thing. You got to take that as a positive thing because that's going to empower you to realize that you can be powerful without having to control other people. But by controlling your internal world, which is what true mastery of life actually is. That's very, very powerful. That's what stepping into your power really is. That's something that my mentor had to teach me because I used to think that I have to control all these things on the outside. I have to react to life, but then I realized I can respond to life and actually step into my power by managing what I can manage and letting go of expectations of things that I can't manage. So once again, if you want to work with me one on one to let go of your ego so you can live into your highest vision, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation to see if you're a good fit for the coaching program. Have yourself a great day and I'll see you in the next video.